The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problems. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, episode 974. That makes us your Whiskey Brothers, Sladeham, Jerry Wayne Longmire, not joined by Trey Tutson or Sam Damaris. Sam off on a ship until late December, and Trey coming back uh, soon from winning, or not winning, God, we wish he had. Uh, he took third place in the Seattle International Comedy Competition, so he hasn't been with us for a while, which means we've gotten a chance to bring in some of our favorite guests and uh, Whiskey Brothers adjacent folks from uh, some other shows and some previous episodes. Uh, standouts on a little thing we do on Tuesdays called Is This Thing On? Uh, Abby Volman, Antonio Aguilar, we welcome you both to the show and use this as a reminder to say that they will both be on the Christmas show with us, the 14th annual oh, yeah. Whiskey Brothers Christmas ball happens at the secret group december 17th that is your chance to catch all of us uh, everybody here at the table trey is going to be with us we have a bunch of other special guests coming in uh goodwill Loden is going to be hosting the first half of the show there's some sketches there's stand up it's all just 10 bucks we'll likely have uh beer or liquor sponsors out there as well we never do it small we always make it affordable we want people who don't normally get out of their houses and go to stand-up comedy to come out and see comedy and this is hands down uh the best comedy that we have collated over the year plus our so yeah, and we're gonna give them a spectacle. It's, so gonna, it's gonna be gonna damn be, fun. You call them Goodwill Loading? Goodwill Loading. Good That's Will what Loden. I've uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've decided to uh, give them a nickname. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's nickname. ironic. I don't know where he shopped. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like them apples? Uh, we're drinking peanut butter whiskey, peanut butter cup flavored whiskey from Texas Ranger. Uh, a gift from them for us to try, and we accidentally fell in love last episode, and that's the problem with yeah. stuff like this. You go into it, and you go, ah, this isn't what I usually drink, and then I'm, I'm madly having to push it away from me. This is a really good whiskey and a Texas whiskey if you're looking for it. Um, huh. You should get yourself a bottle. This is, is really especially good. if you're doing a Christmas party, this is this is Christmas party whiskey. It's leave it. Gives you the warm and fuzzies. Yeah. Doesn't it? You leave it the on the Christmas counter spirit. and let people pour their own Christmas spirits. And then uh, all it's you like have if, to do if is. you ever ate peanut butter out of a jar with your hand out of depression? That's what it. I want to do that <laughs> at the same time I drink this. Oh, my gosh. Or just, you know. Carve out a hole and pour it in there. Have you ever had well, like the, I've already got the that. Trader Shake Joe's it, peanut it, butter cups. You know? I've already Trader got jo- the hole in the soul. Trader Joe's, Trader peanut, Joe's peanut, butter peanut butter cups. cups. Don't don't look at me like that. Try them. So they do. Be great with them. I know Trader Joe's does every. They do like an in-house version of everything, right? Yeah, I've had okay. some of their do. wines and their whiskeys before. They do homemade or Trader Joe's brand peanut butter cups. Dude, I ate those when I had COVID. I couldn't taste them, but I knew they were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Yo, I'm good. You, you, I ate the whole thing. She ate them for she, the hope. She, she's recommending shit she tasted without taste buds. That's what I'm saying. All That's right. recommended on hope. That's <laughs> but you had, know. It, I had them since. Did you smell them? They're great. No, I can't smell them. Well, if you get the new COVID, you can still smell it and taste, oh, so, so that's true. nice. Wait, nice. The new, wait, really? Yeah, the Omicron, you can still you know smell what? and taste. And you can still live, I hear. You know, so I it's, nice the, <laughs> it's nice the update's getting People better. People ain't even dying from this shit. Why do we even... It's not even a news story. Of the <laughs> <laughs> I, the hey, new iOS update. <laughs> if you want to make the news die from this shit, okay? What, <laughs> yeah. what is this? <laughs> it's too many of y'all getting out of Making this. Making us all worried? It's like, <laughs> yeah. it's like new windows. It just crashes. I got the Omicron. It's like, oh, well, I have. I got. You know, I had food poisoning yesterday. You're going to be run down and snotty, but you can still taste shit and smell shit like a cold <laughs> oh yeah. yeah well i have iron man uh. <laughs> if you're dodging the unicron variant of covid you can come see us december 17th <laughs> the secret group the tickets are available now uh eventbrite or facebook uh, also for our december 10th show jerry's going to be hosting it the just the bit premiere happening at the deluxe theater here in houston a busy month for all things whiskey brothers uh and then you can see me and sam in Colorado Springs, New Year's Eve. We're doing one show only. We're going out there. Actually, we're doing two shows, but one night only. Uh, one of my favorite clubs, and it's always a privilege to do New Year's Eve there. So if you want to see me and you're in the Colorado area, that's the way to do that. And I'll be tagging Sam along with me. Uh, Jerry Wayne, what's the one thing we need to know in the world today? Something's important happening. In the world today, man. What is the most important thing happening in the world today? It's not necessarily just a today thing. <laughs> You know, <laughs> <laughs> like it's a, like what's I, uh, what's happening this month? What's happening this uh, on Netflix? 
is there. Oh. <laughs> and so I'm just trying to get to the thing. Yeah, you my forgot. bad. I dropped the ball. <laughs> <laughs> but I like watching you tread yeah, water. You yeah, saw yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, Your Honor, it's not just a today thing. <laughs> well, this is I wasn't going to say this anything. This is funny because I mentioned it to you earlier, and I knew immediately we were going to disagree about it. But November 30th, they are taking away permanently the movie Battlefield from Earth. Battlefield, Battlefield Earth. Earth. Which is widely lauded as the worst movie ever made. Yes. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, John Travolta's Let's break it down, ode Jared. to in 2000, Scientology. In 2000, a movie <laughs> called Battlefield Earth was made. It was, uh, it was made based one of the on worst the, flicks ever. Based on the writings of L. Ron Hubbard and some of his Space Jesus uh, stuff. And Who then, was not a good science fiction writer. And then, and then John Pro- Travolta. Prolific. <laughs> very prolific and John Travolta got it got the bug in his ear that this movie should be made he helped produce it and Forrest Whitaker's in it drug Forrest Whitaker and, down with him oh it's a so the cast is there <laughs> um Jerry, all the potential. It, it, it's Jim Henson doing a sci-fi it's movie. Not, it's not no, funny. no. Don't like, you don't you drag practical effects <laughs> into this. This is it is it is right in the I middle. I will not the stand for Jim lines. Henson slander. No, not no, here. Me, me, me that sounds amazing. Uh-uh. Yeah, absolutely. No. Okay, was okay. He, no. Was no. Not, yeah. not Jim Henson. Was he involved? No, Jim Henson was not involved. No. Let me break this down. So abundantly clear. So one. That was a terrible scene. You've not seen the movie. Not yet. Okay, you've seen it. Not seen it. You got till November thirtieth. Jerry Wayne and I have both certainly seen it. <laughs> no. uh, it is tomorrow. <laughs> it is a poorly made film. Right. It is a let's let's get down to brass tacks. It's as bad. It, it's as bad as that first Dune movie. It is the way it's. I know. I just wanted to, but you know I'm right. The the I heard the, people like that one. The, uh, they the first one. Yeah. Not I the new one. Love the first one. No, the first one. The, the, yeah, he was one of them. They're, David they're, Lynch. Those, <laughs> <laughs> those people are also wrong. So <laughs> the this this movie is. Everything about it is bad storytelling. Yeah. The the it, so there are scenes where someone gets shot, blue, and like in a movie, the person would get shot and then they would be dead because that's how the cool the, the movie that, moves yeah. on. What they would not necessarily do is fall dramatically through nine panes of glass as they die in a scene that takes about thirty five seconds. It's there are parts of that. The, the movie is just under two hours. They could have done it in 43 minutes uh, if they just told the story. Hmm. It's yeah. mm. They so make an F-16 F- hover in it. That's everything about they, they every Oh, Jerry, that's the least but, egregious. But of here, here, here. I'm okay, so they're going to get rid I'm of it. They're going to get rid of it. Watch it like and this is what I do. You no, think you, no, you can it's the it. one? On, what, 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 is it the one they should get rid of or? Is there something else worse than that that should? There's go? nothing else worse than that. We could we could talk about what might be worse, uh, but but I also want to dig in promptly into the things yeah. that are wrong with this one because I, you still like moments of it. N- well, you know no, 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 no. As, as, as of December first, I'm making Battlefield Earth available on my website. <laughs> <laughs> It's not. Come to AntonioComedy.com for Battlefield Earth. <laughs> it's not. There's going to be four hits. It's <laughs> not. It's not that. I don't think that it's a great movie. I enjoy a lot of bad movies, though. Indeed. And, so do I. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think they should take it off Netflix. It's. I don't like them erasing history that we should remember. <laughs> like, Jerry, anytime somebody's like, John Travolta's is great, he's going to be up to go. This is a Civil War statue. I was going to say. I think right. it should. Yeah, I on. think it should be. You know, I don't like. No, no, no. No, I don't want to. Like, hey, wanna, hey no, no, they're no, no, bad, look. but we need to remember them. Right. I don't want a statue of Robert E. Lee standing up like a proud statue like that. What I wanted was a statue of like Robert E. Lee and Longstreet and Jackson just like on the ground in bitter defeat after they lost the fucking war. So we remember that shit happened. You That's, know what I mean? Yeah, but the Jackson it, with a hole in his side yeah. where his own people shot him. You don't need, need a, a Robert statue. E. Robert E. Scientology. Lee. Okay, oh no, I'll you need that. You need that. John when Travolta. somebody's like John Travolta's amazing, you go, no, fuck you. Go to this on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't want it. So, so you think you got to leave the movie with? Wasn't he a tooth fairy? You in can't erase movie? history. Yes. <laughs> I'm not saying we should remove it because it's a bad John Travolta movie. We should remove it because no one should be subjected to it. It's the kind of thing you would you would show someone if you were trying to do an MRI of their brain when they saw tragic <laughs> imagery. It, it's like a Saturday Night Fever dream. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that the title? Yeah, of the yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I want <laughs> Look Who's Talking and Battlefield Earth in the same category. So, okay, wait. Answer, answer me this. So was it made with, like, the intent to... Let me Educate and convert let, people. No. Or so let me explain the film. Just an it's, ode. Here's it's 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 just presented as standard sci-fi. 
you meet this cave tribe of people who are existing in the world 3000 yeah, the year 3000 yeah. they're way in post apocalyptic future where the the cyclos the cyclos yeah that's the name of the alien race from the planet right. cyclo not a cyclops among them cyclo nope. and not with a c Cy like crazy uh an x and uh, p s y c l o uh and then they, they're just knockoff klingons oh. they're just big yeah. domey headed dreadlocked uh cone heads <laughs> almost it's almost that it's it's a, there's it's, no technology to fix forest it's, design no it's derivative <laughs> of everything he's still cock his eyes still wandering <laughs> off like a like the fifth child at the fair there's not uh, enough thetas <laughs> in the universe to fix that <laughs> no so he's and he just plays a, oh he plays a slub to travolta's character everybody is so tropey there's no arcs to the characters they the, travolta's character starts out an asshole and dies an asshole it's all the same it's there's no movement way to spoil that he dies i, man. Don't, I don't even know if he dies it's darth vader asleep at the if he end. just stayed My darth vader from the choking scene yes oh, it's, he starts <laughs> that and ends movie. that it's atrocious and it's it's poorly written and they they just and every scene is overacted and and the special it's in that weird era of time between when we knew we had the ability to do cgi but we didn't know what we were capable of yes yet so it's just like the the blobs of mm. gun rays will come out but they're not really they don't they're not in the scene they're on top of the scene and then the dude will disappear you're like oh that's you guys had a special effects budget of 14 dollars <laughs> you, you the whole movie cost you 100 million travolta got 98.3 right, i was gonna say you gave or the maybe the church of scientology took like they took the other half yeah. the director got 750 bucks John, and oh then God. tom cruise probably got some money off of it uh, just out of right. by, by proxy yeah. it's garbage and you should watch every last moment of it before it evacuates netflix i just gotta call him trey why is trey calling me? what's oh. the oh well answer it you're in the middle of the podcast I put mean, him I'm, on speakerphone I, mi I missed i missed put it. him on speaker should call him back should call him back what's a what's a worse what's a worse film than that to take off of netflix or to even what well, i don't even know what's on but conceptually if it was on there what would you take off before you take off battlefield earth before I would take off Battlefield Earth, or like, what would I send with it? Well, with you know, it is I fine. Feel I'd, I'd take the big Lebowski off because that's a God. You're just wrong. Shit on fucking it's, everybody involved with it. You just dis. You just <laughs> disrespect one of the. It's not. It's not a great film, but it's It's, not. it's really. <laughs> it's good. And if you if you discount Bolden Alley Jesus, you're just you're yeah, you're you're not giving it what it not, deserves. No. So you take the Lebowski out as a worse film. Yeah, or with it. If Ooh. I'm just going to yeah. start deleting shit. Okay. I don't know. I mean. Well, that's funny. It's an unpopular opinion. I that's fair. I'm, I'm. Is that the worst movie you've ever seen? No. All right. Uh. Is it because you wish you would have been the big one? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's 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 the no. I, it's weird. I love everybody in that movie, and it's fucking unwatchable to me. Yeah. I even love the guys that made that movie and all their other movies, but it is fucking unwatchable oh, to me. Damn. Um, um <laughs> it, it, the worst movie worst movie I've ever seen, like like everyone really went sad. Oh um, shit. <laughs> um Where did Slade go? I don't know, man. I've seen a lot of terrible movies. I All right. That's why he's calling he's here. Oh Do shit. Do I have to get up? Do I have to get up? Oh wait. <laughs> oh shit, we got no a surprise. Shit. And he called me off our paper. <laughs> 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 no way. Uh, motherfucker oh could get gosh. nobody to answer the phone. I was like, I'm not gonna answer because I'm in his, I'm in, I, I'm in his seat. So if I'm not gonna answer, <laughs> live back on the podcast. Uh, you guys got to forgive the interruption. Trey Tudson showing up back in Houston. He has been. Uh, thank you, Dylan, for the heads up that Trey was in the uh, in the at the gate. The uh, he did somebody. <laughs> he called everybody but me. Oh uh, Trey Tudson back in. <laughs> Dude, it's uh man, saddle up. We're gonna grab you a microphone, and I'm gonna figure this out. Uh, let me uh, let me get the show back over to Jerry. We're talking about bad movies while I set this. We're up. We're talking about how The Great Lebowski is one of the worst movies ever. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna try just Trey will get a hey, hang up. tight back there for a second, and we're gonna we're gonna run the uh, the the field on these uh, movies, and then I'm gonna move you into one of these seats. It's gonna be easier than adding a. Uh, What's your a worst microphone. movie, Antonio? Well, uh, I didn't <laughs> see this one. Yeah, but uh. I, I'm my votes go that I think that American Pie Girls Rules needs to pack its bags along <laughs> with Wait, uh, uh, Battlefield Earth. American Pie Girls what, Girls Rules. This is the ninth American Pie movie. <laughs> I thought there were three. Yeah, can we just send them all? Like Can 10. we just say American Pie? <laughs> the first one came out in '99. 
they stopped making them in 2009, and then they came out with in 2021 with. Oh, Trey's gonna love that peanut butter shit. Oh, yeah. He likes flavored stuff. American Pie Girls Rules. Oh, yeah, I saw his face. <laughs> American Pie Girls Rules. What a streaming slice of shit this is. <laughs> <laughs> the original American Pie was about a guy so desperate he made sweet love to an apple pie. It makes no sense. Starring all women, they don't fuck pies. <laughs> They should call it something they do fuck when they're desperate, like American Carrot. <laughs> or American Cucumber. Or American Their Boyfriend's Roommate when his when he leaves town to do shows on the road. He said every fruit that but eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's a hilarious third. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. What's your worst, Abby? I don't know. I I feel very adamantly that um, Jerry Seinfeld should be put in jail for the B movie. I fucking hate that movie. I watched it like recently, um, like Stone Cold Sober, and I was like, "This is a horror movie." There's, <laughs> how did you sell this to me as a kid? Because I was I was a child when the B movie came out, and I when I watched it recently, I realized that like all of the moments where Jerry Seinfeld is like kind of, you know, uh, justifying why this bee can fall in love with a human. His character is delivering all of these lines straight to camera. Uh And it really feels like Jerry Seinfeld's bee character is trying to fall in love with you. Oh. And then you feel like the human and it feels weird and yucky and predatory. Weird (laughs) pedo bee. And I just, I want to be in the pitch meeting for that fucking movie. When they were like, Jerry Seinfeld has a a black Amex now. He can make whatever he wants. No, he can't. No. No, he can't. (laughs) This is a bee that wants to fuck people. It is. Absolutely bananas. So what I want to do is I want to dress up in a bee costume and try to get people at home to fuck me. I mean, the whole, the whole thing. I in really the, feel like I need to check this out. In the five, <laughs> first five minutes of that movie, because they're describing like the, the, the vibe of like a hive, one of the characters is like, well, you work your entire life and then you die. <laughs> <laughs> I Welcome was ten. To America. <laughs> oh yeah, right. I was your like, soul felt touched. Right, and because when I watched it as an adult, I was like, "Oh, you were making political commentary too." Oh yeah, the Jeez. whole movie is a uh, uh, the whole movie is is almost allegory. Was, is, cr- is Kramer in there as a racist bee? Or? Yeah, yeah, he comes sliding in. He's a, he's a uh, he's a roach. He just well, they <laughs> also <laughs> mentioned that like technically all bees are cousins, and I think that that's one of the reasons they used to justify why he gets to like be in love with this human is because if he did fuck a bee, he'd be fucking his cousin. It would be incestual. Well, what's right. worse, mm. incest or an- or or, uh, or uh, interspecies animal 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 animality? There's a there's a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I went Mortal Kombat That's on not what this. an animality was. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking for animality. You have to fuck a horse. I've no. been playing Mortal Kombat wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you could have won that game. This is, uh, <laughs> oh, I Man, I, what would I get rid of? Um, there's a lot of options. Dune. The most of uh, So the original Dune, most of Adam Sandler's movies. Thank uh, you. What? Yeah. <laughs> Trey just screeched. I thought I'd get a squeak out of him. Um, my, I would get rid of the movie Sweet November. Never seen it. Uh, Keanu Reeves, Charlize Theron. Okay. I don't know exactly hot when it came. Everything hot. about it sounds right on paper. Uh, it sounds hot. That's it's it. the saddest. I watched that porn. It, I, there's. I wish there was a just porn. Like <laughs> it's the most. You've never seen a movie where cancer is the protagonist. Oh no! Mm. That's I pulled for cancer. <laughs> Get to the soap, whole movie. Get it's to multiply. Everyone else is a villain. And I don't, cancer yeah. is the hero. You hate it because I don't do sad stuff, right? I'm not. I don't watch intentionally sad movies. Uh, you, don't fuck, no you don't fuck emo girls. There's yes, but I make them leave before they get sad. <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> He that's, definitely doesn't let them watch TV. That's a joke. Well, They're always sad. The uh, I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> so when is this? That was a test. <laughs> um, but he makes the, them leap before they so make them sad. What's your pool of emo girls? <laughs> Here's the plot of the movie. The happiest ones. <laughs> <laughs> there are no. Charlize Theron has cancer. She dates she dudes for a month. <laughs> uh, no, I no. This is uh, should have been dead by now. Uh, her character in the movie has cancer, so she de- <laughs> she she 
she dates every November or whatever, she dates a guy for like a mm. month and like it's an intense month. I relate. I understand a, a relationship just that lasts a very month. short amount of time mm -hmm. and goes. I understand that. But she just does this and then disappears because she's going to die and she doesn't want the person she's with to see her die. So every month, I guess she goes through this and you think to yourself, oh, well, maybe that's the way of setting this up. And then you're going to get the redemption at the end where they cure the cancer and you realize the chance she took uh, paid off and they get to live together for happily ever fucking after or whatever. But it ends with her taking him to the park and then he, she blindfolds him and then she goes off to die like a sick cat and he's left crying in the park. She and dies in the park? She doesn't die in the park. No. It's is this an autobiography? Right. What no, else it's, it's the most <laughs> it's the most sad. Is that Keanu who's eating cake and looking sad everywhere? Dude, Again, every like when you see bad movies like you gotta imagine the pitch meeting for this. You're like, dude, people signed contracts. Yeah. Yes, yeah. someone I like read Charlize that. Theron better when she gets ugly and kills other people. <laughs> I like Charlize Theron better with Keanu Reeves when she's naked in the <laughs> Devil's courtroom, or whatever the right, fuck right. happened in that That's movie. Yes, if you're movie. gonna Charlize God. Theron and Keanu Reeves me, give me full frontal yeah, nudity and and Al Pacino. My and I'm back. My high school theater teacher legitimately felt like Keanu Reeves stole his career because I guess like my theater teacher was like actively auditioning in Hollywood around the same time. Oh, and like and he and, and like well, apparently, apparently like went into like the same auditions as Keanu Reeves. Being Keanu Reeves, saying you lost a part to Keanu. No, Reeves. no, no. And like I know I I absolutely adored that teacher. Like he was the best. But I was like, dude, like you are no John Wick. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's you're the, not. But which parts did he lose to Keanu? Because if he just lost the speed part, if you can't go, I don't know. The bus can't go slower than fifty-five, or we'll all die. I feel or like he probably Jill. lost the sweet November part. Is what I'm saying. Like if there's ah, a movie that he, he's not, not he's not a John Wick, you know. Yeah. <laughs> man, Keanu Reeves is just like a blank slate actor, man. Yeah. Imagine losing a part to him. It's like, sorry, you're not boring enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. Uh, I figured out my movie. Like, my movie would be Vanilla Sky. Did you see him That's in Dracula? One. Really? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that piece of shit. Okay, Vanilla. You, you why do you you don't like bad, you don't like good movies? It's terrible. <laughs> it's not good. Tell me one good thing about it, man. When they, when they closed down, is uh, it Kurt Russell hollering? I'm real, damn it! No, I'm real. Didn't they close down Times Square for that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Right? That's a, that was an impressive. So that that indie, that scene where he's running through Times Square oh, and nobody's okay. there. Yeah. That movie's impressive to me for that reason. They actually shut down Times Square to shoot that scene. I'll take Legend for two hundred, Alex. There you go. That's also <laughs> another dumb Tom Cruise movie. Uh, just That's all, Will Smith. Damn, they even kicked out. Legend. Uh, I am Legend. I am. Le yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You over here giving me. <laughs> That's Abby. I gave you a bad feed. That's my bad. That's my given, bad. We were talking about Tom Cruise off air. He's got oh, that yeah. tooth in the middle of his head. No, no, no. You don't understand. Because once I saw that, it's a core childhood memory of mine. Because once I saw the picture of like them, like there was like a line on the internet pointing out like where his tooth is. When I didn't, wouldn't wear like my retainer to bed, I would have a dream that I would like wake up, look in the mirror, and my teeth would be like in the his center of my fucking face because the the ideal hollywood uh aesthetic is perfectly symmetrical right like all I mean, of the symmetry to this day i am terrified my that teeth tooth are is is like constantly you feel like they're just marching left yes and then, like i feel like one of my teeth is going to end up in the center because i used to have this dream repetitively he's done he's done several interviews where he's like people you know, high dollar dentist and shit on airplanes all the time, being like, "Hey, I could fix that." And he's like, "No, it got me where I am. Look at all the money I got." Right. But I think he's Look at also all the money thinking. I gave to this church. I think he's also thinking that the thetons are going to come in and straighten that tooth out one of these days. That's well, right. That's the receiver. As they had, soon as they, they, they cure the time, his mental they had illness. Square, they had Times Square empty for this scene. That means they even kicked the the. The people the selling naked cowboy. The people selling tickets to Broadway Comedy Club. Those comics. <laughs> <laughs> they got buskers. <laughs> no, it's a whole lot of Penelope Cruz. Those it's way too much Penelope Cruz. Twenty dollars tickets. Uh, Dave Chappelle might show up. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked them out. He was too. here they once all the time. <laughs> Dave Chappelle might show up. <laughs> That's funny. Somebody said, "Name a good Tom Cruise movie." Uh, uh, ooh, we Mission can... Impossible. Uh, so I will say any of the Mission Impossibles. I will also ring in uh, with an agreement there. Tropic Thunder. I'm yeah, gay. I'm gay that. for Jerry Maguire, man. I love that movie. Yeah. Fuck Jerry yeah, Maguire. That, that's Jerry Maguire. I like Top Gun, even though it's terrible. Uh, it's it is terrible. It's it's '80s terrible. So many catchphrases in Jerry Maguire. The problem with Jerry Maguire is Aries Spears. What? No, but when when uh, Regina King fucking kicks his ass. Because he's being yes, a bitch. Yes, except, yeah, except yeah. it's still Aries Spears, and you still got to watch the movie and it be Aries Spears. That sounds like someone who opened for him and had a bad, <laughs> had a bad experience. 
<laughs> I've heard stories You're about. You're good at video editing. Just put Tracy Morgan in his place right. and go and rewatch it. I'll get this contract. Pregnant. In fact, I would if they remade it with Tracy Morgan, I'd watch it again. That is racist. No, Tracy <laughs> Morgan can't be. Uh, Aries Spears is an asshole in the movie. I don't want him to be Aries Spears. He's an asshole in the movie. Tracy Morgan's too. He's too fucking likable. You say oh, Tracy can't. You can have act? not followed Tracy Morgan enough. I've never seen Tracy Morgan unlikable in a movie. Unlikable, anything and anything. Oh, he could be though. Unlikable, yeah. yeah. Oh, he yeah. could pull it off. Listen just... to Burt Kreischer's story about him at the bar. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I've heard like that not, not good things about Tracy Morgan. Oh yeah. Uh, not necessarily like on set or like well, I guess like on set, but like not like in his movies. Like I don't think he's particularly bad either. But uh, I've heard that he's not a pleasant person. I just person. love him. I just love okay. him. I would hang out with that spectacle and just. Enjoy every minute of he it. He kind of he does kind of just like seem like he he'd just, be such he's a trip. one of those dudes you don't know what's going to happen next. Right? And you yeah. Would just be there for. I him. like it. He. I love that story when I heard he, it. I was like, Bert, what are you bitching about? I'd have been in for it. <laughs> he just ad libs his life. It feels like, and it's hilarious. <laughs> I, I love. Tracy he's just Morgan. like, I need a noun. <laughs> <laughs> the Last Samurai. Oh, Verb. Man, I love the Last Samurai. It's he was terrible, like, and then I was I, I went to the theater to watch him in Milwaukee, and like in the middle of a bit, he was like. Damn, you got some big titties. Can I see them titties? Like, like in the middle of his story. <laughs> Sometimes, and, and she showed him the the titties. Yeah, and then he, well, he's affable. Never heard the end of the story either. That's uh, so. That's what you're mad about. You didn't bit. get to hear the rest of the bit. <laughs> so you're saying he couldn't play a bad guy. <laughs> Those he, titties heckled that bit I wanted I, to hear. I'll tell you, I bought a ticket to see this fucking performance, and the titties took, no. I mean, imagine, like, you know, the Yelp review. That would be amazing. Some woman was, like, <laughs> pissed off. She didn't get that. My titties deserve royalties. Uh, any uh, any, any, any uh, final notes on horrible movies before I, I'm going to move Trey into uh, one of these seats here in just a second. I want to catch up with him because I know we don't have him next Monday. Uh, I would have said Batman and Robin or the Catwoman woman movie with uh, Haley Berry Catwoman. if I was taken. Is uh, that on Netflix even? It's I think it is, and it's totally worth the watch. Is Spider Man Two on Netflix? Spider. The oh wait, no, hang on. Don't say Spider Man Two is the is best it, one. Is it three? That's the bad one. Three's the one with the dance yeah, number. The yeah, three is the bad one. Okay, never mind. Can we talk about the cat? Because I, like, I have Spider Man's one and two and three. Can we talk about the Catwoman basketball scene though? No, I mean there's uh, yes we can. All right, that's all I gotta say, buddy. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> Antonio Aguilar and uh, Abby Volman are guests on this episode of the podcast. We're gonna move Trey Tutson into uh, one of these. I'll just put him next to me, um, Antonio. I'll let you. Uh, you want to grab a shot? They kick me off. It's sexist. Ooh, you want to grab a shot for the road? I yeah, get, I know. I, I was trying I get to get a shot. I get a shot for uh, for getting replaced. You okay. get a shot for the road. Uh, you're definitely gonna be back. I'm gonna be using both of you guys on some upcoming episodes of Is This Thing On? You're gonna be at the Whiskey Brothers Christmas Show. You're also likely gonna be on a lot of episodes uh, through. Throughout the month as we pre-tape probably for uh, January and uh, it's always good to have you guys on you're parts of part, part of the Whiskey Brothers family uh, and we look forward to the Christmas show December 17th go get your tickets now Trey come grab this microphone we'll pour up one more round of shots uh, so we can toast you properly What's up, man? Trey Tutson back man? on the podcast <laughs> Abby Yene yeah uh, oh, yeah why not a baby one god damn well yeah, like a half one I wasn't Thank gonna you. not come here first. Try, I didn't. I, so I didn't. I, I do anything in life, right there. That's. I thought on, you. you to have one? I thought you were staying up there to That's do good. some shows. Mm-hmm. And uh, we talk. So we've been talking throughout your entire journey. You have been at the Seattle International Comedy Competition. Yeah. Uh, a a very well respected institution in the stand up comedy game. One of the big three, if you count uh, yeah. San Francisco or uh, and um, Seattle and, and Boston. And Boston. Um, you went up, you, out of a field of 40, you took third. I got third uh, You were icing everything up until the I finals. Lost it my, always gets dicey. Uh, half a point. Wow. Some that shit like that. like you just got man. some bad draws at the end. It's, uh, <laughs> there's, con man. contest, you never know how, I, I say this, I've said this, I that said this before you left. You, you mm -hmm. don't know where you're going to fall. You don't know what the judges are going to do. You don't know what the audiences are going to do. The only thing you have control of in a contest is your set. Yeah. Um, the rest of the factors be 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 them what they every are. Every audience member, every time the show ended and I wasn't first, uh, most of the audience was like, "This is bullshit." <laughs> every, every almost every it's, show, and and probably all the um, comics. I was following yeah. along, watching them like second, second, yeah, yeah, second. Yeah. He's got the best score of anybody here. Yeah, because they drop as high as his lowest, so he gonna make a I fuck. was I was crushing. I, I know I did. I learned a fuckload about myself. Um, yeah, man. I mean, uh. I don't. Oh, I got. How do I word this? Um, 
yeah, I don't um I don't think I'm gonna fuck with my friends that much. It's a <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not lying. When you do a contest like that, you you like really see like you see where you're at because of the adjustments you gotta make. To this motherfucker, it was no goddamn duds. Right. It was yeah. And that and Everybody that five a killer. They was yeah. killers. And just every time I got off, they were just like, this motherfucker, he took it. This, they were just fucking like grouch. And they were going up doing great, but they were just like, dude, there's no way. And they had the way that they judged it. If I could probably change anything or say like maybe something that maybe would have helped, I, I probably would have been a, a little more conscious of being cleaner. Uh. But but a little, just maybe I would have dropped a couple words here and there. But I was... I was so focused on being loose and being myself and riffing and like just being in the moment. All I gave a fuck about was that I just I went up and I I was a hundred percent authentic. I was me. Yeah. This shit might veer in. You don't know. I might just talk about this white lady titties for three minutes <laughs> because that's what the Lord put on my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Owner <Yeah>. in. <laughs> so. Nah, it was that, but man. So which um, one of those sets did you do about white ladies' titties? <laughs> nah, I didn't. I didn't uh, was that fourth or fifth? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I went on this, uh, I did go on a rant about how, I didn't know how white Washington was until oh. I got up there. Man. This, this Seattle how, is the mixiest of it this all. This is how fucking is, white it is in, in Washington, Abby. They yeah. have white women that clean hotels. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is foreign to the rest. So I have never a job. That's what I'm hearing. I had I've only never ever seen heard. That overseas. Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard housekeeping so fluently. <laughs> <laughs> you actually understood it. Oh like, nigga, is this Siri? Who the fuck is saying housekeeping? How, right now? Housekeeping. Like, <laughs> housekeeping is here. Housekeeping has Excuse arrived. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Are you awake? The keepers of the house are at oh, the fuck? door. Shut up, uh, Alexa. I he bet, was like, I bet, right. house, I bet Alexa, housekeeping stop. had a meth slur. <laughs> yeah, had a meth slur. <laughs> That's amazing. No, nah, man, it was like hey, crazy <laughs> white up there. But um, it that and it was just uh, that, oh, y'all talking about bad movies? Uh huh. Fam, I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to touch Fam. your heart with the with the Adam Sandler. Fam. No, no, no. That, I mean, look, like I, I don't know a, a a bad movie that he does. This guy figured out a way to make movies with his friends. Yeah, he figured so out how to trick you. There's no bad movie. That is true. That's how I see it. That's but uh, uh, we would make some bad movies yeah, together. We would make some terrible right. movies, but, but we'd be we like, God damn it, we'd we figured be it out. A good ass time <laughs> doing it. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> we figured it out. So, uh, but no, um, this. So it was another comic up there. She was really funny out of Vancouver. Really funny, and kind of clicked. And we hanging. She's like, "Hey, you want to go? You want to go with me to see this movie?" And I was like. Yeah, I'll, I'll fuck it. We'll go. Fine. We'll go. See, I'll go see the movie. I'm just out here hanging. So we we go go see this movie, and I don't know the fuck. You know, I don't know the fucking name of the. But it's one. It's a part two. So you know. So it's just like yeah. you went to see a sequel to something you'd never seen the first part of. Right. Which I've done that before. <laughs> okay. I did that one time. Shay was like, "Let's go see a oh uh what is it? Olympus has fallen." I said, "Why you want to go see this movie?" She goes, "Morgan Freeman is in it." I'm like, "That's not a reason to go see this bitch." <laughs> right. Hey, man, it's been 30-something years since somebody went to see it because Morgan Freeman was <laughs> in it. You find out Morgan Freeman's in the movie. Unless you're like, oh, shit, hell Morgan yeah. Morgan Freeman's in this yeah, bitch. Yeah, Unless right? it's a documentary about penguins. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Unless he's narrating. Yep. But she's totally. like, he's starring. And then he so, was dead so you went most to see, of the movie. Now, that's, I, I want to interrupt you. I saw, I, I've done that before, and I saw on the plane home from Europe, I watched the, bo- the hitman's bodyguard's wife without oh, yeah, having yeah, seen yeah, the hitman's yeah, bodyguard. Oh. Okay. So I was... Blown away. I thought it was very, very funny, but I haven't seen the first, the first one. I also one. watched it by myself on an airplane, so it didn't feel quite as date like in a Canadian we movie. We in theater. this goddamn. What so, what'd you fuck? go see? What is the name of this goddamn movie? It's Seems called important. The Fuck. What the fuck was it called? Not the pamphlet. What the fuck? It was like one of them. One of them <laughs> <laughs> the notebook? No, it was called. I forgot. It's no, just there's the no sequel. part two to that. that. Bro. <laughs> It's just a commentary on how like modern day online dating and everything is ruined. Just a the pamphlet. pamphlet. <laughs> Wait, was it the pamphlet too? Can, can we make that shitty movie? You French? The, the pamphlet too. The pamphlet. We're gonna be checking movie listings in Washington. Yeah. God. <laughs> man, it was. It was. Um. I thought you were gonna say Twilight. If I'm being honest. No, nah, man. It ain't. It, it, I wish it was some shit like that. I can't remember. But you it, can't it, show up without knowing what movie you just man, went and saw. No, don't you look it up. I'll uh, look it up. You talk. Uh, fuck. I, no, What's y'all, it about? I, that's the thing. <laughs> it ain't about shit. It's like one of the <laughs> movies, bro. 
You know how a motherfucker do a doc- like. All right, so what it was was like it was like people doing reenactments, like they was acting out this lady's experience, like her Resident Evil. Like no, 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 <laughs> like her life experience. But it's it's no narrative to it. It's just all these different moments that happen. Now the thing is this: if you know the person. Right, like if they, like if they, if they had did something like this on Prince, Venom too. And you're no, sitting uh, now, 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 now. Uh, but no. is this a, like a lady that did some cool shit, or is it? She's just a like director. She's, at the she's, a, store? she's a filmmaker, and okay. this is like this is what the fuck happens like in her thing, and they're doing. I think somebody tricked you into watching their movie. They made. I think so. No, <laughs> this is Washington. You know, is what your I mean? friend in Washington a filmmaker? No, <laughs> but she's a fan of this. She was a fan of this filmmaker, and she saw the first one. So I was like, okay, um, fine. Man, we went, I fell asleep eight times oh in this my goddamn God. movie. She tricked eight. you into seeing her friend's fuck movie it. is what yes. happened. I don't, uh, fuck it, let's go with that. I don't know what it you was. Went to, you went to a local and film this festival. Thing, yeah. bro, this the thing. Because it was like, I mean, this was kind of fucked up, but it was just like, um, she. I could tell she had a she could, she had a crush on me, but she didn't know how to, she didn't know how to say she wanted some nigga dick. Like, she didn't really so know she, how to... So she just took you, know you to I mean? a bad movie. I, I know that's the wrong way to say it. I mean, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I've never... That I've never been in that situation know. where I've had to say that, yeah. so... <laughs> I got you. I mean, yeah, that's, um, that's, there, you can you can dance around the point a little more obviously. Yeah, sure. but she kind of say all that. When they ask for that, do they have to use a hard R? Yeah. No, no, no. Just a, just <laughs> a high. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the movie definitely has to be a sequel. No, you do. Yeah, exactly. You do a hard R and shrivels up. So if I ask a guy out on a date to a sequel, it's implied. Absolutely. <laughs> no, she. <laughs> Absolutely. Really funny. Come see this movie. One hundred percent implied. But it was. Uh, I found out later. Later, I found out that's what it was about. But I was like, "Yeah." Well, so you I, were sleeping. So I'm licking I'm, some. I'm lying about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying about. I gotta look this shit up, Slade. I'm lying about this director. Uh huh. She like. Do you know? Do you know who this director is? I have to know. This yada yada yada. This is important. Right I'm gonna let you look this up for a second. It, it's 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 my it's. I would know Man, if I went up. if I went to some atrocious date movie with some girl uh, in the middle of a contest I was in this 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 memory would be emblazoned in my brain like a cattle brand there's no part of me that wouldn't know the name of this movie right, right off Bro, the top I, of my I head. I remember, but I got remember. Especially got, a sequel, because I would have come home and watched the first one to see if I was really into this chick or not. Oh, Y'all got to keep in mind, I got caught up in the- I would have had um, questions. Yes. <laughs> I got caught up in the- um. Yes, the heat of the moment. Yeah, the, I got caught the up in the- emotions of the contest, the yeah, blah, blah, I'm, blah. I'm caught up in all that goofy shit, and I, I, I fucking- for, I remembered, I, was, I remembered, so I would never- Accidentally see this shit again, <laughs> and then I fucking forgot. Did you go see Ghostbusters Afterlife? I was gonna say, I feel I like the only sequel that's out right now. <laughs> There's not no. a sequel out. No, it's not even. It's just a different Ghostbusters. He went and saw a friend's, uh, that's her what I'm friend's saying. movie. There are no sequels he, out. She was like, "Do you know? Do you know like David Phillips, the director? You know? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, oh my god, I worked with him at Starbucks. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> How do you know his work? <laughs> And you're like he. You're put, subscribed to his YouTube channel too. You're like, no, he thing? double whipped my soy mocha the other right. day. But also, <laughs> damn man, I can't think. Gave me his business damn, card. Man. You hold don't. Up. You don't have. You don't have the ticket stub in your text messages. Oh man. No. I'm not, wait. Hold up. <laughs> Trey's not keeping girls. Come on. No. I'm on this phone. I can't keep women in my phone. No, no you're like no, me. No, Sweet no, November. No. They got they got two days and then they out of here like Battlefield Earth. Release the pamphlet. All right, dick pig. Release the pamphlet. No. Dick pig, dick pig, pig, pig. pussy shots. Is that from your dick pig rating group or just vaccine card? Y'all, this name of this motherfucking movie is called The Souvenir Part Two. The what? The what? The Souvenir. Bro, you got taken part to a, yeah. two. You got, you got taken to a It's by this movie. British director. No. no. This British woman who just got rights. <laughs> and, and, oh, whatever the fuck. British, British like Madonna British or there's British? No, like? I can assure you. There's no Amy Winehouse British. So this yeah. motherfucker. There's no souvenir the first. See, there, yeah. No, there's a one. A Britain America on Souvenir. Drugs? And it's a souvenir part two, and it's about this, whatever, this like this filmmaker, and she has all these experiences that happen in her life. Like I say, but like, it's no narrative. Of course the not, way I say, it's, it's a like, student film. It's like if, but no, she's made some, she's made some other shit, because I, I was looking it up. You I can't was like, even name the this shit she made. Name she made, no, I couldn't made. think of that one, but she had one that was, she had another movie called The Exhibition. And the reason I remember that was because that it was sounds my. Sounds like a movie. That was my line to the pussy. She was like, do you know this uh, filmmaker? I'm like, yeah, I seen the exhibition. And then she asked me in the movie, what is it about? Oh, this is a ton of shit. 
Are all her project <laughs> names just vague nouns? Yeah. yeah. That's what the, I'm the saying. The table. The souvenir. <laughs> the <laughs> the exhibition. The microphone. The window. <laughs> I'm just saying you did too much because, like, again, that was definitely Stay her friend. Stay tuned next week for the conversation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or she's like, bye, and that was, like, her British, like. She liked her from whatever. Yeah. Was anybody in it that, that was of note? This movie was whiter than Washington. Okay. <laughs> I what? had never. No. it was, And then, and I'm, I, I feel like unknown white is worse. I could tell you. I, feel, tell you. <laughs> I mean, it's like, damn, you born and nobody know you. <laughs> you started at the top. You, at, you started at the it's top. And you really had all the potential, goddammit. It's when you really go, you just got the job because you're white. <laughs> they hire anybody. You're in a movie. That's, yeah. But also, you you didn't have to do all this work. You've been you've no, been invited to a two, shitty movie so with a girl. Things. You're in. So two things. Uh your I, job I wasn't is really to distract her from the shitty movie at this point. Yeah. Wasn't really tr- no, no, two things. I wasn't really trying to. I wanted to go see the movie because I was, hey, man, I'm here. I've never been here before. I'm going a, I'm to a experience some different shit. That's what I, the same yeah, like yeah. where we went, we, we paragliding. Tourist, right? I'm, man, I'm going to do some shit. And she was like, I'll, let's go see this movie. I'm like, all right, this ain't, this ain't something I'd go see, but I've, I've endured shit. I've endured, but I saw the exterminator sister. or yeah. the right, experience right, right. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did text that. I I've like how you exhibition. compared it to like paragliding too. <laughs> you know what I mean? And hey. then you said you fell asleep eight times. Yeah. I, I wouldn't fall asleep don't if I went confuse, paragliding. Don't you know? confuse jumping off a mountain with feeling right. like you want to jump off a mountain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so, totally you, so you don't want to move to the Pacific Same Northwest. Same in my book. Right. Man, dog, this That's not your type of book. Y'all talking about bad movies. That's a fucking bad movie. <laughs> the Souvenir 2. It's, this guy has no future. No, <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. your word on it. The you know latest I, from Amanda Phillips, the uh, budding b- British director. You, right. You know how you say you see, you saw that movie and you was like, damn, I think I kind of want to see. the mm-hmm. first, This one was made you go, how the fuck, where's the uh, first one? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, wait a but minute. But it makes you wonder if the first one was really, really good. But gave you more money for What if she just skipped the first one? It's like an edgy film thing. They <laughs> yeah. just only made a sequel. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's like what if she made the first one like that Wu-Tang album that nobody <laughs> oh, heard? It it's away. just It just right, exists, right. and then there's a sequel to it because... It's in yeah. I want to make a shitty movie and then just name it after the sequel of a good-ass movie. Ooh. So people go see Like The Great Lebowski 2. That's you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and, like it just why, be, why you just be us hanging out up in this house. On purpose. He's doing it on purpose. You're doing it on purpose. What is it? The, the, the big. The big. You oh, keep okay. calling big. it well, the great. great. Great's big. Big's that's, great. Yeah, oh, well, well. We don't just get to sending him up all the movies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> God damn it. Jerry. Jerry also. Yeah. By the great way. Jerry. Anybody, 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 remember the big, remember the, the big Gatsby? Yeah, that was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's where I'm fucking it up probably. Big Gatsby. James and that huge ass peach. <laughs> How is James that? and the great ass peach. <laughs> God damn. It's really the big. Clifford the big ass okay. dog. Clifford the great <laughs> ass dog. <laughs> Every time y'all correct me on it, I think I said it wrong the last time. And so I Jerry, I must say, around. this week you have sounded as gay as you looked last week. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you look like Fat Ellen last week. But that when? shit, you last week about? you had the motherfucking square glasses on <laughs> and that dyke haircut. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? God damn, Slade, I know we're trying to be progressive, but shit. <laughs> I'm still trying oh to process God. this. What? You look as gay <laughs> this week as you <laughs> did, did last week. I sound as gay. I have a lot week. to unpack. Oh, my gosh. Uh, God, you fucked me up last week. I was like, what the fuck is this? I have you never seen me in my glasses. I had never seen you. You like you like a tough chick <laughs> <laughs> with a beard. <laughs> you want some pussy or your oil change? I mean, goddamn it, pick one. <laughs> you gonna take this pussy? <laughs> this would be a great time to invite Antonio back into the conversation. <laughs> Grab me a by tough the tough chick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grab me by the pussy. <laughs> Grab me. By like, I'm just glad I don't it didn't say Daryl Felsberg, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my God. I voted God. for Trump because he does it the way I like it. <laughs> Rise me by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, this anyway, man, I had a good time. I just want to say thank thank you to everybody that sent me encouraging shit the, the entire time that I was out there. It was great. I didn't even, I didn't, I only thought, you know. Just you guys, you and, no. and, and that was rooting for me, but it was cool. Just you know, yeah, the strong random tribe. Billy D messaged me. Every bunch of people messaged me, so I fucking appreciate it. Um, a strong tribe of supporters, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, you did us, you did us very proud. That is the uh, the highest 
a Houston contestant has ever placed in the Seattle International yeah. Comedy Competition. Thanks, Third is No Punk Move uh, that puts you in the top, uh, it puts you on the podium yeah. for a contest that had 40 of the best international comedians in it. And uh, personally, you like you, there was some growth. You went out and like we, we were talking about, mm -hmm. man, you you did a bunch of shit on your own for the first time. You learned a lot of stuff. You uh, and you accomplished a lot. So I'm I'm proud to Thanks, have you back. Man. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm proud to see you out there. Uh, a raise of a glass to yes. Trey Tutson. Uh, we will not have you next Monday. Kenji Alonzo will be sitting in your seat. So he's supposed to act like because they, people get us confused. Uh huh. So that was the thing. Is he's supposed to show up and people just think Trey got taller. That's <laughs> <laughs> I will run it for as Trey long as he can go. keep it alive. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I won't even mention his name until he breaks the illusion. Yeah. Um, He's going to end up probably saying it. On you'll also be a guest on Is This Thing On on the 7th, which is the Tuesday after yeah. next Monday. Yeah. Uh, give you a chance to get back on the microphones. This was just a pleasant surprise. I am uh, very I happy to, to see Trey Tutson back in the house. Uh, my good friend Jerry Wayne Longmire, his special is on YouTube. Search uh, Jerry Wayne Live. The special is called The Wrecking Yard. Yes. Want to say congrats? Thank you, bro. That was, looks great. Want to talk to you about trying to get it as many views as it deserves. Yeah, because absolutely. Yeah. It looks fucking great. It looks better than uh, a lot of shit that people put out. Indeed. Uh, Trey Tutson, integral in the edit on that with me. Uh, Adam Taylor in the back. Ones, twos, threes, fours, our partner in all things production and video. Lots of great things to announce as we turn the corner into the new year. We're working on some stuff, and the YouTube channel is only going to get bigger. If you're not subscribed to that, do so. We're uh, on YouTube underneath the Whiskey Brothers. Uh, thanks to Abby Bowman. Ah. Bowman and Antonio Aguilar, our guests on this episode. You're both going to be back on all of our shows very soon. Uh, Alpaca Capone on Twitter if you want to follow Antonio, and Weirdo Abby if you want to follow her on Instagram. Otherwise, search them, Abby Volman and Antonio Aguilar. I'm Slade Ham. That's Jerry Wayne Longmire. Trey Tutson back in the house, hey, man. Yeah. I have missed, missed the shit out, my I little dude. Man. You'll see us on a future episode. December 17th. Soon. That's right. The Christmas show. Get to it. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye. <laughs>